I want to talk to you a little bit about chainsaw safety and personal protective equipment. Um, first thing on my list of, of items that I want to wear when I'm operating a chainsaw is, is a hard hat with a, with a full face shield, earmuff protection, um, and the hard hat being in good shape, something that's, that's not very old. Um, hard hat has a very short service life. Um, OSHA recommends um, three to five years on a replacement cycle. So um, if you can't remember the last time you bought a new hard hat, it's probably time for a new one. Um, they work, they work very well. Um, unfortunately, I've had the opportunity to find out how well, but um, they, they do their job. And um, I'm very thankful that I had mine on the day that I got hit. So the hard hat's an important thing to have on your head, protecting your eyes and your ears, because you only get to use that once. This is a pair of chaps that were issued to some of my students in class. How this has happened twice is beyond me. So we have a cut leg here. And we have a cut leg here. This is a rare occurrence here. A right leg cut as opposed to a left leg cut. I don't know how this happens. I don't know who had these on. I don't know the instance. I don't know that I was around when this happened. Um, but this is a pair of chainsaw chaps. And inside of the chap is some protective material that is in a multi-weave fashion, kind of a checkerboard over-under kind of thing that um, when the chainsaw cuts the material, it pulls out fibers from the top and the bottom in both sides. So when you make a cut on the chaps, it pulls material from the top and the bottom and removes protection from all areas of the chap in order to stop the chain. So the material in itself is not cut proof. It is a jamming agent. What it is designed to do is come out of the chap and get sucked up into the sprocket tip of the saw and into the side case of the saw so that, that chain stops. When that happens, there's a clean out procedure that we're gonna go over here in just a little bit. But the big thing is that if and when you cut a pair of chaps, you take them out of service, they've done their job. Um, you need a fresh pair, you need a new pair of chaps to go back to work in um, so that you can prevent unnecessary injury. You also want to wear some gloves while you're running the saw to reduce vibration in your hands. A good sturdy pair of work boots um, so that you got some traction as you're working and moving so you don't slip and fall as you're operating the saw. I think that covers our personal protective equipment. We'll be right back with you.